this video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, change your power steering fluid in your car. Um, I was going to show you more, but I just kind of jumped into this, so uh, you're going to have to bear with me. First of all, I sucked out all the old fluid with this fu fluid pump right here. I just put it in a catch pan. Stuck that right down in the cap. Pumped it all out until that was gone. So. And I kind of pull my return line, which is right there. See, I kind of plugged it. I put a bolt in, a little piece of uh, rubber hose. And that's your return. You pull your return line off. There's your return line right there, and you barb it. You barb it. Say the barb. I ran a hose all the way down here. This one is when I add fluid to the car now and I start it up. The, uh, the fluid's going to just pour right out of this hose. But you gotta be quick though, you fill it up to the top, crank it for like two seconds, turn it off, if you don't want to run that pump dry, and keep on doing that until the, uh, the fluid doesn't look black anymore, it looks clear. So I gotta find some fluid and uh, get going on. Okay, I found some power steering fluid, this is like racing fluid. I use it in my other cars because this company in California, they do a pretty good job. When it comes to uh, power steering deals, just keep on filling it up until you fill it to the top. Alright, filled it all up, kind of all floated a little bit. And uh, now we gotta crank it up, turn it off really fast. Hope none of your connections leak, you're gonna have a big mess. Okay, crank it up. I had air in the pump. They look a lot of air in there. Yeah. Gross. That's what happens to you get air when you do this. It's coming out clear already. See all that foaming is going to be a problem. Okay, I probably ran about two and a half quarts to it here. I just kept starting the engine until uh, it's got to time it right so you don't drain that reservoir or else you can damage your pump. Did that, and um, my stuff coming out of the pump is pretty clean, so uh, we're probably just going to run it as this. Put it back together, fill it back up, and we'll call it good. Oh, another thing what you could do too, um, after you do this a couple times, you can lift up your vehicle, and then uh, turn the wheels back and forth when the reservoir is full, and then you get the same effect, the uh, fluid will come out of there, and that's how you kind of uh, flush the steering box a little bit better, but... I'm kind of running out of room here. I don't think I can get these wheels up in the air. So I might just have to uh, do it as is. You see? Slightly quieter with the cap on. Anyway, I forgot to add the service. Probably should, blah, should probably be done like every, I don't know, like 20,000 miles, 30. That's what I would do it. Keep your power steering system nice. I haven't done this one in forever since I had 20 on it. want to do too. I still want to jack it up though, just in case I have any air bubbles. When I get it off the ground I can uh, bleed the system with the engine off just by turning the wheels back and forth. I have a video on that already. Maybe I'll do it again. But uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, good that I get the old stuff out finally. If you didn't see before, which probably was hard to see. This is how I made my little stop. I got a little spring clamp, piece of 3 8 rubber hose, got a zip tie, and I screwed a bolt into it. Zip tie almost acts as like a clamp, so that bolt can't come out. But you uh, put that on your return line with the little nipple. That's just your plug, so your fluid's not going to run out of the reservoir. And uh, this is my flushing hose. It's just a piece of 3 8 rubber hose. Any length of work, this is probably, I don't know, two and a half feet. And uh, you just get a brass hose barb, put it in one side with a clamp. Then this side's going to go into your return line that's already on your car. That would go into that little nipple that uh, this thing is going to be covering. So when you do that, you can easily just flush it out when the engine's running. If you're wondering what the old stuff looks like compared to the new stuff, new stuff. Old stuff. Wow. 
Big difference, huh?